The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Greetings to everyone who's tuning in to this Web Video Chef's training session. Getting started with Final Cut Pro 10. So Final Cut Pro 10 is the latest incarnation of the popular Final Cut Pro suite uh, created by Apple, of course. I'm Monty Channel. I'll be helping moderate this session. Uh, with me is Chip Dizard, who's uh, one of the trainers at WebVideoChefs.com. Web Video Chefs is a, it's a site that will help those who are interested in learning about video production, new media with uh, tutorials, tips, tricks, and we provide uh, weekly, um, if not daily, updates depending upon how busy we are, how, how many tutorials we're able to produce out there. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Chip Dizard. Folks, if you'd like to ask us a question, there should be a box there that will allow you to ask a question. We will uh, set some side, some time aside at the end of the presentation to uh, try to do as much of a Q&A as possible. Also, I'll give you this little disclaimer. Both Chip and myself are still learning Final Cut 10, uh, but this is really a primer. This is something to just get you your hands uh, a little bit dirty just to get your, to learn about some of the basic features and functions of how the software works. With that, I will turn it over to Chip Dazar. Thanks so much, Chip. Hey, thanks, Amadi. Hey, uh, I welcome everybody. I want to make sure we started on time. We'll wait a couple of minutes uh, before we get officially started in the software. So I want to allot the entire hour to the software. You know, a lot of times you can go to a webinar, you can hear a presentation. But I know everybody doesn't want to see a keynote. You can see that anywhere. So we're going to start with the software. Uh, but before we get into the software, I do want to go over a few things, Amani, and to the group. Um, our agenda today, uh, we're going to talk about Final Cut Pro 10, or some people call it X. <laughs> and then we're also going to talk about the interface the event library, all about projects, making a simple edit, edit text and transitions, and then effects, Ken Burns, and more. And um, I think that, um, as you know, since last week, this time, around 5.30 Pacific time, 8.30 Eastern time, Final Cut Pro 10, or some people may call it X, <laughs> has arrived. And it's arrived with a lot of fanfare, blogs upon blogs, Twitter posts have come up about the software. Uh, good, a lot of negative. Reviews. Um, I was telling one of our attendees uh, today that if you're a professional editor, I used to edit uh, for a church and we used to export to tape and we used Final Cut 6 and 7. Uh, this is not the software for that, okay? Just so you know, uh, this is a foundational software. This is something that you get uh, when it's just starting out. So when they say 10, I really feel that they're starting this from scratch. So they're starting this from scratch, and uh, uh, but Apple has really done some good things, and they have done some things that kind of make you, you know, scratch your head a little bit. But I think that once you see the software, see how I've used it in the last seven days, and Amani as well, uh, and we've done a few projects, nothing real major, but it's one of those things you have to make yourself use the software. Uh, another disclaimer, like Amani said, we, 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 we know a lot about the software. We've had the software for a week. Uh, uh, we know the basics and out there are some things that we do not know, and, but we'll be glad to answer your questions. You can uh, put it in the comment box or either email us to, at ask at webvideochefs.com. And we also have, uh, we're going to have a lot of series of Final Cut tutorials, Final Cut 10. And then we are also getting a lot of requests for people who want to leave Final Cut and go to Adobe Premiere. So we know Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, uh, After Effects, we have all these things covered. So basically that's the fuss about Final Cut Pro. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead right to the interface and we're going to go right to the screen. So I'm going to share uh, my screen with you, uh, with everybody now. And uh, I see who's in the room and if you have any questions, again, we have a questions room and uh, you can go ahead and ask the question. So the first thing we're going to do with Final Cut Pro 10 is look at the interface. When you see the interface, it just looks so different than anything you've ever seen before. So what you have here is something called the event library. And then you have something, we see all the clips. It's formerly like the viewer in Final Cut Pro 7. And then you have your, 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 um, your viewer where you can see your clips here as they go. So the first thing we do whenever you start is two things you can do. You have something, events are like, uh, just think of it like a capture scratch. That's what I think of. So I'm, I'm, for people who don't know Final Cut at all, um, this may be a little bit different, but for people who do know Final Cut uh, 7, a capture scratch is where all your media is kept. So what we see here is the event library. And then and in the event library, you have my hard drives that are hooked up, my 
hard drive on my Mac and then my edit drive that I have things on. So the first thing that, that really also you see uh, that is different, you see the time code here. In the old Final Cut, the time code used to be way up in the right hand corner and time code was over here, it was kind of small. So they did a good thing with putting the time code right in the middle where you can see, see it, okay? The second thing is that you can move all of these things around. You can close a lot of these windows that are collapsible and uh, different things like that. You can group things and I'll show you how we group things. So the first thing I'm going to do is import footage into the event library. So I'm going to create a new event. So I'm going to go file new, new event. Now when I go new event it's going to ask me to name the event. So I'm just going to name it uh, webinar 62811. Events are usually named by by dates by default. 